Hi, I'm Heather. Welcome to class. Today we're going to work on Ardha Chandrasana, the half moon pose. Before we begin, if you find this video helpful, be sure to like and subscribe. Hit the bell so you're notified when a new video is available. We're going to start using the chair to work to come in and out of the pose, working first of all with our mobility and then we'll work with our stability. With the chest facing you, we're going to balance on the right leg first. So I'm mirroring you when I practice this. Turn the right foot and thigh out to face the chair, then bend the right knee and if you feel your hamstrings and your adductor muscles are supple, you can bring the forearm all the way onto the chair seat. If not, you could potentially simply have the hand on the chair seat or you could put a brick down under the forearm so you have that intermediate height. The top hand, the left hand, will go onto the top of the chair and already I'm starting to turn this left chest up. Point the left toes and bring in activation of this left leg. And we're going to work to raise the left leg and straighten the right leg at the same time. We'll be coming in and out of this expression into our half moon pose. Inhale, exhale, raise the left leg, straighten the right leg, and inhale to lower. Exhale, Raise the left leg, straighten the right, and inhale to lower. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. So you keep going and feel how the pelvis is rotating over the right thigh bone. As we lift the left leg, left side of the pelvis stacked vertically top the right. And as we lower, left side of the pelvis descends. Keep going. Do your best to straighten the right leg as you raise the left. Now, last one, lift up and then come back down again. Okay, come to stand up and we'll change sides. So we have the chair facing us and we turn the left knee and foot towards the chair. Bend the left knee as you come down whether you're on the forearm, you're on the hand, or you've got a brick there under your forearm. Top hand to the chair, and again, remember, we're wanting to keep this chest lifting. We'll work more on that soon, but just for now, focusing on the mobility, coming and going in and out of the pose. So point the right toes, preparing to spring off the back foot onto the front foot, left leg. Inhale. Exhale. Raise the right leg and straighten the left. Inhale, lower. Exhale. Raise the right leg, straighten the left. Inhale, lower. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. So you keep going. Find your rhythm, your pace, and make sure that you're intending to straighten this standing leg, the left leg, and all the while the right leg stays straight as well. And we're still intending to keep this right chest turning away from the floor. Let's make this our last one. Exhale. And inhale back down. And then come to stand up. Now, having put the chair away, we're going to use the wall. Let's take the narrow edge of the mat into the wall. Have a belt and a brick. Start by sitting on the floor and pressing the feet into the wall and use your belt. We're going to place the belt across the back of the pelvis. So it's going across the mat behind the back of the pelvis and then we'll leave the belt there. Come to stand. This is delineating where we're going to place the arch of our foot when we then step our top leg onto the wall. 
Now, I'm no longer mirroring you. I will be doing my right leg as you also do your right leg. Hold the brick in your right hand and place the arch of your right foot on the belt. Bend the right knee just as we did earlier. And rather than having the brick at its full height, if you can manage, turn the brick to its blade shape. It's more steady that way. So we can flatten the palm into the brick, left hand on the waist, and then pitch your weight forward more onto this right leg as you step your left foot up the wall. The foot, the left foot is parallel to the floor. It's neither turned out nor in. And as we push into the wall, use that for your steadiness, but draw the tailbone in. Can you keep this right thigh externally rotating, right buttock pressing forward, tailbone in, and then zip the navel up from the pubis, zip the navel up and rotate the navel up towards the ceiling as you stretch your top arm up and look up. So we're turning not only the left side chest up, but we're spinning the right armpit chest forward. Get steady here, steady your gaze, steady your breath. And then we'll place the left hand back on the waist, bend the right knee as you step the left leg down and let's swap legs. Step the arch of the left foot onto your belt. Place the left hand on your brick. So when we stride the right leg up, ideally your shoulder, your left shoulder is vertically top the wrist. Right hand on the waist. Take the right leg up the wall, press into the wall and feel that this left thigh is turning out. So if you look at your kneecap, your kneecap should be facing the same direction as the toes. And then as we push the right heel into the wall, squeeze the left buttock forward more and more, direct your tailbone to your right heel, and then spin the chest up, turn the right side chest up as you reach the arm up. And not only turning or spinning that right side chest up, but can you move this left armpit chest forward towards the wall in front of you? See that you keep drawing your tailbone in and in the direction of the right heel. Then right hand back onto the waist, bend the left knee, step the right leg down and come to stand up. Now there is another way of working which really helps with our alignment and that is facing the wall. So I've taken the length of my mat against a wall and I will be starting on the right leg first. Brick in the right hand, step your right foot so that it's about a brick's width away from the wall, turn the right thigh out, right foot out and the left hand's already on the wall for stability. So we're pressing off the left leg to come onto the right leg and the right hand can come onto your brick wrist under your shoulder the left toes are on the wall. So then as I press the left toes to the wall, I want to squeeze the right buttock towards the wall, but have the left thigh and pelvic bone off the wall, and then left fingertips on the wall, and I use that pressure of the left fingertips on the wall to spin the left chest up towards the ceiling and the right armpit chest around towards the wall. Go on moving the tailbone in and towards the left heel. Get steady in your breath. Now to come down, let's bend the right leg, slowly lower the left foot to the floor, then come to stand up. We'll swap sides. Preparing to balance on this left leg. 
the left foot is about a block's width away from the wall. And then as we bend the left knee, make sure your knee doesn't roll into the wall. That's an indication that you're not externally rotating the thigh enough. Turn the knee so it travels the same direction as the toes. And then we'll take the right arm up the wall already, reach down onto your brick as you project your weight completely onto that left leg and the left hand. Left wrist is vertically under your shoulder. The right toe tips are on the wall and as I press into the wall, I want to use that to help move the left buttock forward, right thigh off the wall. Peel the navel up towards the ceiling as you press right fingertips to the wall, rotate the chest. Turn the right side chest up towards the ceiling and spin the left armpit chest forward towards the wall. Get steady here. Steady your breath, steady your gaze. And then we come down, bend the left knee, lower the right foot to the floor and come to stand up. So having done three variations of Ardha Chandrasana using props to help inform our alignment and technique, we're going to do in the middle of the room with no props. If you do feel stiff and you think, I'd like a brick under my hand, then absolutely bring your brick in. But I'll be demonstrating just with the fingertips on the floor. We're going to start in Tadasana, mountain pose. We'll jump the arms and legs wide, move through Trikonasana, which is our triangle pose, and then come into Ardha Chandrasana, half moon pose. So be here in Tadasana and already engage the pelvic abdominal muscles. So we lift pubis to navel up, maintain that. Inhale, exhale. You either jump or step arms and legs wide. Maintain your pelvic abdominal lift. Turn your feet to the right. So now I'm mirroring you again. Inhale, Trikonasana, exhale. So you sit your hand on the ankle, right hand on the ankle, and let's place left hand on the waist. Look down towards the right foot. That's often helpful to look down as we come into our balance. Bend the right knee. Now make sure your knee is traveling the same direction as the toes. Watch it's not rolling in. Then as we hop the left foot in closer to the right, then we reach to the floor or to our brick with fingertips. Then fly the left leg up, just like we did earlier with uh, the use of the chair. Straighten the right leg, raise the left leg, but don't stick your buttocks back. Can you squeeze the right buttock forward and lift the inner left thigh up into the thigh bone, press out through the inner left foot, go on directing your tailbone towards your left heel and take your top arm up. Left arm up, left chest up. Breathe. Now we'll come out the same way we came in. So bend that right knee. You can place the left hand on the waist, lower the left toes to the floor, get steady. Stride back, long stride back for Trikonasana. Right hand on the shin, right leg straightens, right arm up. Push into the left heel to stand up, inhale, and let's change sides. Left side. Turn the left thigh out, plug into the back heel and zip the navel up. Maintain that pelvic abdominal lift, inhale. Exhale to Trikonasana, triangle pose, hand to shin. Right hand can sit on the waist and then we prepare to come into our balance. So you can look down towards your left foot Bend the knee. Now again here, check, is the knee rolling forward? Can you keep the thigh turning out? Now as we shorten our stance between left foot and right foot, you hop in and reach whether fingertips to the floor or hand to brick. You pause so you get steady. Then raise the right leg, straighten the left leg, lengthen through the inner right foot, 
So as you lift the inner right thigh muscles up into the thigh bone, lengthen the inner right foot away from the groin. And with the standing leg straight, squeeze the left buttock forward. Left buttock forward, tailbone in, and the tailbone lengthens to that right heel. Top arm can go up. But spin the right chest up and move the left armpit chest forward. Then we come down, top hand to the waist, bend the left leg, lower the right foot to the floor. <laughs> Sometimes we lose our balance a little. And stride back to Trikonasana. Top arm up. Push into the back heel, stand up, inhale. Turn your feet and we'll jump or step arms and legs into Tadasana. Pause here, get steady. Consciously let the breath settle and release. Let's do Uttanasana to rest the heart, rest the head. Take your feet out about hip width, maybe a little wider than hip width, and we'll fold forward at the hips. Inhale, exhale, hinge forward, fold all the way down. If you need support, feel free to put hands on bricks or use um, a chair, put your forearms on the chair. But if you feel supple, you can release the torso down, drape the arms down. And allow this moment to relax the head, relax the heart. Now, as we prepare to come out of the pose, place your hands on the waist, slowly raise the head up as the torso starts to lift, direct your sit bones down so that you can keep your lumbar spine long as you come all the way up. That's it for today. Thanks for joining me. For more in-depth teaching, check out the video library on my website, heatherkitchenyoga.com.au. The link is in the description box below.